Hi friends, welcome back to Prodhaps Anesthesia. Today we're diving into the world of endotracheal tubes. In this video, we'll explore what endotracheal tubes are, learn about their parts, discover their important uses, and their different types. So let's jump right into the video. Endotracheal tubes. The endotracheal tube is a device that is inserted through the larynx into the trachea to deliver oxygen, anesthetics gases, and vapors to and from the lungs. It is often stated that the gold standard for securing the airway is tracheal intubation. These tubes are commonly used for airway management in the settings of general anesthesia, critical care, mechanical ventilation, and emergency medicine. Endotracheal tube design. Endotracheal tubes have two ends, the machine end and the patient end. It has a universal 15 mm connector that can be connected to AMPU bags and ventilators. Then there's a transparent curve tube. At the patient, we have a cuff and bevel with Murphy's eye. Bevel. Bevel is a slanted portion that faces to the left when the tube is held in an anatomical position. This is because the tube has an easy chance to be introduced to the right side of the bronchus due to its position. If that happens, only one side of the lung will be ventilated. This is why the bevel is faced to the left side. Murphy's eye. Murphy's eye is a hole in the wall of the tube which is located opposite to the bevel. In case of blockage of the bevel, it provides a secondary port for gas movement in and out of the tube. Cuff. A cuff tracheal tube has an inflatable sleeve near the patient end of the tube. When this cuff is inflated with the desired volume of air, it seals the space between the tube and the tracheal wall. Cuff types. Depending on the pressure needed to inflate the cuff, it is divided into low-volume, high-pressure cuffs, and high-volume and low-pressure cuffs. Pivot Balloon This cuff has an inflation tube which connects connects to the pilot balloon. This pilot balloon has a one-way inflation valve, which is used to inflate the cuff and check out the leakage in the cuff. Markings on the tube. First, you can see the words oral or nasal. This indicates that the tube can be inserted in both oral and nasal roots. Then we can see the tube size. Tracheal tube size is either in millimeters, internal diameter ID, or French scale size, three times the external diameter in millimeters. Finally, we have a longitudinal line of radio-opaque material runs throughout the length of the tube for confirmation of the correct placement from an x-ray. Then we can see some bold transverse black lines which are made a few centimeters above the cuff. This one is called vocal cord marking. It indicates the distance that the tube should be placed in the trachea so that the mark is just visible above the larynx. This is to prevent the tube from remaining too out or the tube going too in inside the larynx. The distance from the tip of the bevel is marked in centimeters on the tube. With this, we can roughly place the tube in its correct position. Also, there will be cautionary notes such as do not reuse or single use only if the tube is disposable. Next, we'll see about the tube material. Endotracheal tubes are mainly made up of red rubber or PVC. This red rubber tubes are made from red rubber or natural latex. The main advantage of this tube is it can be cleaned and sterilized for reuse. It also offers adequate rigidity with minimal tissue trauma. But it is a non-transparent material which may hide cleaning issues or foreign bodies. This makes the tube more prone to degradation and weakening after repeated sterilization. This material is potentially allergenic and irritant for prolonged use. 
Due to this material drawback, it is replaced by other tubes. Coming to PVC tubes. It is made from polyvinyl chloride or polyurethane material. This material is non-irritant, suitable for single patient use with sterilization. It is a transparent material so it allows easy detection of foreign bodies and blockages. It has thinner cuff walls compared to red rubber tubes, which reduces Y risk of tracheal mucosa damage. These PVC tubes are replaced red rubber due to improved feature size of the tube. Choosing the right endotracheal tube size is important for patient safety. For adult males, an 8.5 mm tube is common, while for adult females, a 7.5 mm tube is often used. But the children's sizes vary. Premature babies typically need a size 2.5 tube. Infants from 0, 6 months may use 3, 3.5, and those aged 6 months to 1 year may require 3.5, 4. For kids aged 1 to 6 years, there's formula to decide the size which is age by 3, plus 3.5 to get the size, and for those over 6 years, it's age by 4, plus 4.5. Deciding the length of the tube. For adults, the optimal tube length is where air entry is equal on both sides of the chest. This is typically around 23 centimeters for adult males and 21 centimeters for adult females. To make it easy, the tube tip should be positioned about 4 to 5 centimeters above the carina, which is roughly 26 to 28 centimeters from the incisors. In kids, you can calculate the length of an oral tube using this formula. Age, in years, plus 12 centimeters. For nasal intubation, add 3 centimeters to the calculated oral length. And that's all for today. We hope you found this video useful. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching and have a great day.